This is going to be kind of controversial, but I do believe that people who eat meat, dairy, and eggs can be just as healthy as vegans. <sighs> All right, well, John Venus is no longer <sighs> vegan. To some of you, this may come as a huge shock. To most of us, though, this is no surprise. And a lot of you guys on Instagram have been asking me to make a response to this, uh, my thoughts on it. So I thought I'd sit down, go through the video with you where he explains why he is no longer vegan and not really do a rebuttal on all of his arguments against veganism, but just give my whole opinion on the situation. Before we get into his video and I start talking about my opinions, just wait until you leave a comment until you watch this whole thing through because I know there's probably gonna be things that you agree with me that I say and there's probably gonna be things that you disagree with me that I say so before you leave an angry comment or anything like that towards me just wait and watch the whole video I first off want to start off by saying that I have no hate towards John Venus or anyone who eats animals for that matter I've made videos previously talking about people are not wrong for eating animals I don't think it's necessarily the wrong thing to do and I do wish John Venus the very best in his life but let's hop into this video let's go over the main things in the video I want to point out and my opinions on what he said first off he titled the video I am no longer vegan but as we already know he said in previous videos that he doesn't want to label himself as vegan anymore so it seems like the title he used for this video was honestly just for clickbait I don't think he was ever vegan to begin with this is a huge thing that people have been saying and that I agree with what he was was plant-based veganism is about compassion towards animals it's about reducing animal suffering and if you're doing the vegan movement just for diet purposes that means you're on a plant-based diet it doesn't mean you're vegan if you just don't care about the animals that's why if I even had health problems on this diet which I never have I felt the best that I ever have on this diet personally I would do something to fix it he's got a brother who is a doctor who is also vegan who could of explain things to him obviously I really don't know what was going on in his mind when he decided to not go vegan and who knows how long he's not been vegan because he's made videos about him like eating eggs and doing that as an experiment hey everyone my name is John Venus welcome back to another video today I want to talk to you guys about a sensitive personal topic something that I've been wanting to get off my chest so who knows how long he's kept this from people just to maybe make money again I don't know the full scope of the situation but it does seem that way based on you know what he said and I think we can all agree or people who have looked into the scientific literature we can agree that nutrition itself is a very confusing and not really understood topic um, and it is you know understood to a certain degree but there are very many question marks so so i actually agree with this point nutrition is something so complex that not one diet is going to suit everybody that's why i believe this is going to be kind of controversial but i do believe that people who eat meat dairy and eggs maybe not dairy <laughs> dairy is really just awful but i do believe that these people who eat animal products can be just as healthy as vegans i don't think there's one perfect diet but from my personal experience and from many others that i am in contact with they say that the vegan diet has made them feel the best they ever have and they'll do blood tests and all of their cholesterol levels will be low like all of their stuff is great on a vegan diet but with that being said i'm not saying that veganism is going to be absolutely perfect for everyone even if you are eating just like whole vegan foods there are people out there who are just as healthy who eat meat and eggs it's just the way it is so yes nutrition is a very complex topic but again veganism is not just about nutrition that's why you shouldn't be saying you're no longer vegan you should be saying you're no longer plant-based it becomes almost like you have to only look for answers and research that comes from people that you know is going to support your bias anything outside of pro vegan becomes the opposite right so there is no neutral point of view that you can get to with this mindset it's either vegan pro vegan or it's anti vegan and pro meat eating and pro murder and death and, and these things and this is the mindset that is you know i was in that mindset myself so i know that that is the the dominant mindset for a lot of people so i actually don't believe this to be true i kind of just proved that you can kind of have a neutral mindset like i've seen studies that support that 
eating meat in your diet as opposed to a fully vegan diet can help and can bring more health benefits whether those studies are valid and whether like the people in those studies were eating meat along with like super healthy foods and then the vegans in that study were just eating like vegan junk food I don't know but again I do kind of have a neutral view on this but that doesn't mean that you don't have to be vegan like that just I don't know that doesn't really make sense to me for the vast majority of the time that I was vegan I really actually believe that it was optimal for human health because that is what we're being sold big organizations like the American Dietetics Association uh, all that mixed together makes it extremely easy to just believe 100% that you are doing the right thing. And I'm not saying that it's a wrong thing, but it makes it easy not to question it and look at the opposite or another different point of view. Again, I do believe you can question these things and you can take scientific studies that fully support a vegan diet and still question your beliefs with it and like question is this the right diet you can still do that but above all what it should be is that you want to be vegan not just for yourself he talks about compassion a lot he's got a tattoo that says compassion i think something along the lines of that and a lot of his view in this is from a personal from a subjective from a selfish standpoint that he wants to do it for himself so he was he was really just in this whole diet this whole trend kind of just hopped on the trend he did this for himself it was never for the animals it was never for the environment so yes i've seen studies plenty of studies that show that meat is good for you it provides more nutrients and stuff like that i've seen it i take it into account and i say okay veganism may not be the optimal diet for everyone i've never tried to argue for that but I, there are also so many studies that show that it can be so good for reversing heart disease diabetes for decreasing your all-cause mortality possibility and also john never really had the greatest diet he's made videos where he's like eating only desserts he's made videos where he doesn't eat that great and i'm not saying i eat great because you know sometimes i'll have vegan chicken nuggets sometimes i'll have vegan fast food because i believe that that is optimal for my lifestyle i like you know just letting loose every once in a while and eating some vegan junk food because I eat so good. Like the majority of my diet is so great. That's why I feel so great that sometimes you can just go and eat, you know, some less healthy stuff. But a lot of what John's diet consisted of, I feel like in the past year where he's been questioning things is not that healthy vegan food and i don't know this for sure so i'm not going to say it for sure but it feels like that was a bit of the part of the problem to where he started not feeling as good if he wasn't even feeling as good based off this video it doesn't even seem like that's like the main reason again it seems like he wants to use the vegan label which he said he didn't even want to label with anymore as a way to promote himself promote his business which is very very sad after looking into the dietetics association um you know corporate ties all these you know different corruptions that are going on and looking at the science for you know children especially because this is the reason why i started questioning everything there is extremely little science and i am not convinced at all by the science that is used to support those claims and i strongly believe that we cannot you know say for certain that one thing uh you know something like the vegan diet 100 percent vegan diet is going to be optimal for kids so what i'm wondering is why he discredits the credibility of the american dietetic association for everyone else who's in support of a vegan diet for children what other studies is he using to put against these studies that are very well backed up and very well supportive what are his rebuttal studies to these i would like to know these because what what is it about these studies that's making him is it that they're funded or is he just like going off of what other people have said about their kids going vegan if some person had a negative experience of their kid going vegan is he believing the opinion of just a random person more than an actual study i don't know but again that's just like 
it's confusing. I'm not comfortable of dismissing you know hundreds of thousands of years or even millions of years of a certain um, you know eating pattern and instead do something that requires supplementation to make possible like B12 because again I used to think that you could get B12 from the soil and water and that it, there is no scientific evidence for that to be true. Okay so talking about his kid again Every child needs supplementation. Like they're not going to be eating the perfect variety of foods in order to grow as a child. Like every child needs to take some sort of baby formula in order to continue growing optimally, whether you're vegan or not. And then he brings up B12 as if that's like not a problem for both meat eaters and vegans. Because most people in the United States, at least I think, maybe even in the whole world, maybe I'll have a study up right now that shows it are deficient in B12. So like no matter if you're vegan or not, you need to be taking a B12 supplement. And there are things that yes, vegans are more susceptible to be deficient in such as B12, such as vitamin D, maybe iodine as well. But these are really the only problems. And then, and then with a meat based diet, you're going to be deficient in probably loads more nutrients. That's what I find is that I hit all my nutrient targets so easily on a vegan diet, except for like B12 and vitamin D compared to when I was eating meat and then just a little bit of vegetables. So I think his kid, no matter what, and himself are going to have to take a B12 supplement no matter what. So that part of the argument, it again, just, it doesn't really make sense. I, I could call an experiment. I have had some question marks because of personal experiences, because of my real life observations and, you know, uh, nutrient deficiencies in people that are very, very close to me. And I don't want to give any personal information, so I'm not going to talk in detail about any of that. So I've already watched this whole video through, but what it sounds like to me is he's under a lot of societal pressure to not be vegan anymore. I feel like there's a lot of people in his life telling him right now that he should not be raising his kid vegan, that what he is doing with veganism, he is going to develop deficiencies. I'm pretty sure he also just made a video recently on taking a blood test as a vegan and how like all of his stuff was so positive and he wasn't deficient in anything. And I believe he's gonna touch up upon other friends telling him stuff as well and I will go over that in this video. But to me, whether he's conscious of it or not, it feels like he did have a lot of peer pressure, a lot of societal pressure to not be vegan anymore. And I don't care if, you know, someone watching feels extremely offended because it's not about you, it's not about me. This is just, you know, the reality of the situation regarding, you know, real life as, you know, a parent and the responsibilities that come along with being a human being who is caring for, uh, you know, children and who is really wanting to do the, what's best by, by their side. You say it's not about you, it's not about me, but it is about you. You you can have your child not be vegan and you can be vegan yourself. It's not like you don't have to have meat and eggs and dairy in your house. If you're vegan and your child is not like, you don't have to do that. I don't know. that. It just doesn't make sense. I cannot be certain of the long-term implications of the diets just because it works extremely well and helps reverse disease in the short term. It doesn't really translate into what happens and what the limitations are long-term. So once again, you don't have to think that veganism is the optimal diet for humans to be vegan. Veganism is not about the diet. It's about reducing animal suffering, not contributing to it at all, and reducing your environmental impact. And as for whether there are long-term studies showing that a vegan diet can help with all-cause mortality with reversing diseases, there are plenty of them. And plenty of these studies have been going on for a very, very long time and show that veganism can help long-term with all of these problems. And once again, I'm not saying that a meat-based diet with some vegetables and whole grains is not healthy because i don't think that is the case you don't have to think that is the case people have like friends have kind of divorced themselves from from me and like not wanting to have anything to do with me anymore and this is like people who i have or i thought were really good friends and other friends really very close friends who said you know that i <laughs> that they respect my choice and everything like that 
but they can't be seen with me publicly because that is bad for their image because the vegan movement is so toxic and so judgmental. So this is what I was talking about before. A lot of his friends have defriended him or don't want to be seen with him because of his image, him being vegan. Now, this is what I believe, whether he is conscious of it or not, like I said, is the main underlying thing as to why he no longer wants to be vegan is the societal pressure. Our number one need as humans is our desire to fit in, to fit in with our social group. And you're not going to fit in if you are eating a vegan diet, because like most people in the world do not eat vegan. Now those sound like terrible friends in the first place. Like you shouldn't be friends with anyone who, if they disagree with your diet, they don't want to be friends with you or seen with you in public. That is awful. Like those friends you should not be friends with in the first place. My friends, yes, they do make jokes about me being vegan. I'm sure they always will be. And I've influenced some of them to adopt a more plant-based diet, which is awesome, but none of them would ever not be friends with me for it. And I think he's feeling that pressure, that deep human desire to be wanted, to be, to fit in, to feel like needed. And he's transforming this subconscious need into, okay, I need to stop this diet so I can start feeling like I can fit in again and I can have these friends again. He needs to be needed by his friends that he's had for so long. And these shouldn't be your friends anyway, John. Like what the heck kind of person doesn't want to be friends with someone because they're vegan? That's not a real friend. Your friends are friends with you because they like you for who you are, not for what you eat. So in my opinion, I do believe this is the main reason why he decided to stop going vegan. But again, I could, I could be wrong. And it's so, so sad that the vegan movement has so many people that are so judgmental and have such superiority complex. I'm not scared of getting flack for any of this. I've done this, you know, several times in the past and I, I just don't care. So at the start of the video, he said he knows there are people who are like toxic to the vegan community, but there are so many others, mo the majority of them, I believe he said the majority of them are great people, nice people, compassionate people. And now he's saying that most of the vegan community is toxic and has a superiority complex. And while I agree that some vegans do have this problem, and I've made videos about this topic, about how the vegan community can be really toxic sometimes, which I absolutely hate and think they're better than people who eat meat. I don't agree with that at all. I think it's messed up. You also just contradicted yourself there by saying first, most of the people are nice. Now, first, most of the people are not nice. I'm still living the same uh, you know, life in terms of core principles, still the same mission, trying to spread positivity, compassion, love, and health to everyone who watches and follows along this channel. And I hope that you guys uh, can stick around because there's so many more things and, and the journey has just begun. He has used the word experiment a couple times in this video now, and it seems like the diet was just an experiment for him. It was never for the animals. It was never for the environment. It was for himself. And he talks about compassion and love. And I don't feel like that was his main reason for doing this was compassion. It was to see if it would make him feel better. And that's the gist of it. That is all I'm getting from this video. And because he didn't feel optimal for whatever reason, he will not explain it. And because he was having so much societal pressure put on him, he decided, you know what? This is something I don't want to do anymore because I really just did it for myself. So for that reason, he was never vegan. He was just plant-based. And now he's also still selling his vegan eBooks, which is totally okay. I mean, you don't have to be vegan to sell a vegan eBook, obviously. And then he's also still having his workout and nutrition plans where he is going to still be training vegans, which again, I don't think is a bad thing, but I feel like he's gonna lose a lot of business from this, but also gain a lot of business from like the meat eaters that are always flocking to videos like this and are like, good for you, John, you did the right thing. Now you're eating the diet that was meant for all of us, meat, I'll buy your stuff. So a lot of this could make him even more money. And he is a very clickbaity person. He likes to do the clickbait. I know I like to sometimes as well, I'm guilty of it. But again, the whole thing to me seemed like he was just doing it to see how it would affect his personal life, his finances. It was never about 
the vegan movement, which is super sad because he was someone I really looked up to. He was someone that I know that a lot of you guys looked up to. And to just be fed so many lies over the past like year of his no longer labeling himself as vegan, as trying eggs, as like this video right now, it's just disappointing to see. And again, I have no negative feelings towards the guy, you know, best of luck to him in the future. But this video was just a terrible explanation of why he's no longer vegan and there's a lot of things that I just don't agree with what he said. So now that you've watched the whole video, please leave a comment on what you think about this whole situation, what you think about what I said as well, because you know, I'm open to criticism and I'm sure that I'll probably change a few things that I gave my opinion on in this video through the comments that you guys leave. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like for me, it helps my channel and we should push this out. As many people as possible get it in there recommended so they can see the, the truth behind John Venus's no longer vegan stuff. So I hope you have a great day and stay vegan, stay healthy and be vegan for the animals and for the environment, not just for yourself.